but boots have actually captured my heart and I don't think I can ever turn back. But I'm currently on my way to meet up with an ex of mine. <sighs> hey. Man, what is good, y'all? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video here on Patron on Ice, man. If you guys are new, welcome in. If you guys are returning, if y'all are my homies, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what this voice is, but I do appreciate y'all so much. I do just hope that me showing you guys my boots collection helps to either inspire you with your outfits or shopping habits, shopping at vintage or shopping at the thrift stores, or just being able to entertain you guys that is the goal of this video, either to inform or to entertain. So welcome to the channel, and without further ado, let's get into my collection. I don't remember the last time I didn't wear boots, or I don't remember the last time I wore sneakers. I don't know if it's because it's winter time right now, or just because of my evolution of how my outfits have changed from thrifting, and vintage, and true vintage, and wearing flare pants, but boots have actually captured my heart and I don't think I can ever turn back. The first boot that we're gonna start off with is the one that I'm wearing today. It is just the 1460 Doc Martin monochrome black. So honestly, I love Doc Martens. I have three pairs. I have the Adrian loafers. I have uh, the white platforms. I love these ones because just the versatility. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's been my everyday boot. Wear them at least three times a week. Like comfort is there, quality is there. Like I said, versatility is there, which is very important with boots. But yeah, let me break down today's outfit for you guys. As you can see, I'm wearing the boots. For the bottoms, I'm wearing wide baggy leg uh, silver tabs, and I cuffed it up a little bit. And for the t-shirt, it's just a faded black tee with a funny little graphic. Reasons why truck are better than women. It's just a funny tee. And then up on top, I have this 50s wool work jacket type thing that just, oh my God, I'm not gonna lie. I wear this almost like three, four times a week. It's just so versatile, especially in the winter time. I could wear it with anything. And then up on top, I'm just rocking this little beanie from Gap. If y'all wanna see my staple outerwear pieces that I've been wearing this winter time, slash my true vintage outerwear collection, make sure you guys hit the like button. Let's try to get to like, what? 25 likes? 25 likes and I'll drop that video. And then I could also do a separate video on pants. Certain pants give off certain vibes. And for me, I think versatility is key. You can't just wear flare pants all the time in my opinion. I think you gotta switch it up with either wide legs or straight. I think it really helps just steer the direction of where your outfit's gonna go, what look you're trying to achieve. Whether you're trying to wear like a crop look or a baggy look. So make sure you guys let me know if you guys wanna see that video as well. But we're gonna move on to the next boot. We're gonna stick with the same vibe of my black Doc Martin boots. But this time I got my uh, 90s vintage Timberland boots. I got these for 20 bucks at the swap meet. So I wear these, I beat these up. Like that's the beautiful thing about thrifting and swap meets. Like bro, like you can get certain things and you can afford to literally beat them up and wear them a certain way. I really love the new buck feel to it. And as you can see, there's staining on the shoe. It just, I think it just gives a character. I love boots beat up. I love boots that have uh, just wear and tear on it. Cause I think it gives it character. It's all part of the boot. It all tells the story of how the person wears it, how the person styles it. It all has a testimony. You know my boots, not my story. The other detail that I love with these Timberland boots are just the rope laces. I think it just, oh my gosh, there's a spider crawling on my Timberlands. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can, there's, there's a spider. There it is, here it is. You guys see it? I should kill it, where'd it go? I'm weak, there it is. No way. No way. I don't know if I got it. Okay, maybe don't get boots from the swap meet. <laughs> or I should just clean my room, either one. <laughs> but like I was saying, man, the other details I love with these Timberlands are the rope laces, the two-tone color, just really uh, throws off the whole boot in a good way. I think it adds a nice, beautiful touch to the boots. But yeah, I do love these boots. Super glad to pick them up for 20 bucks, even with the spider. <laughs> All right, the next two boots that have been in my rotation are cowboy boots. To be honest, all these boots that are in my rotation are the only boots I have. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the truth of it. But they've all been in my rotation. First off, we're gonna start with these tan cowboy boots. I absolutely love these, man. I've gotten so many compliments on my TikTok or just walking around in these boots, like so pretty, so beautiful. That tan color is so versatile. These are Dingo's made in USA. And I actually found these at the thrift, so it was probably like two bucks, three bucks. But it just so happens to fit me perfectly. 
But yeah, same thing with the Timberland boots. Like, there's wear and tear on it already. As you can see, on the actual uh, ankle of the foot, you can tell the person who wore it before me, they're, they're, they're sweating. <laughs> they're sweat stains, I think. I think that's what they are. Or it's water damage. But whatever it may be, the uh, boots are still in great condition, still great quality. I like to wear these usually with my flare pants, with light wash flares. I'll throw some photos up on here of uh, outfits I've worn with these boots. But yeah, I love wearing these when I'm dressing up, like styling myself. Um, you could also dress these down. You could wear some like flare uh, Levi's, plain white shirt. I've done that before and throw a flannel on top. I legit have an outfit wearing that. Yeah, and all these boots, if I can find them online, I'll put them in the link below so you guys can check them out. But yeah, tan cowboy boots for the win. And then my most recent boots pickup slash last shoe in my boots collection are these black cowboy boots, man. Gosh, I love these, man. I love, 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 love these. I've been wearing these nonstop. These are called Dan Post. Super nice. I really just do love the quality on these and just the little details on the actual boot in the front. I'm not quite sure what kind of stitching that's called on the leather. It looks like it's all cinched up. But yeah, I really do just love the details on these boots like so beautiful like so nice yeah I think these retail for around like 150 not too expensive none of these boots are too crazy expensive like I know next in my uh, kind of wish list of boots I want are uh, the Guidis and I know those are the kind of boots that I'll never find at the thrift I'll never find at the swap meet because there's no there's absolutely no way I think that those could end up there but they are such a thing of beauty and the next thing on my uh, lookout wish list also is a, a pair of brown ones. I know I have tan ones, tan cowboy boots, but I want some, uh, some like brown, brown, like real brown, um, like this, like this brown <laughs> kind of boots. But yeah, I do love boots so much. Like it's literally all I've been wearing. Like I hardly ever wear sneakers anymore. If I do, it's like Vans, it's like Converse, uh, Chuck highs or uh, my rude recess highs. Like. Legit, like I'm about to sell all my sneakers. I suggest everyone to have, not maybe not four pairs or maybe not five pairs, but uh, just switch up your outfits, switch up your style. I think uh, boots really do add a touch to your uh, outfits that make you look unique, you know, and make you look different from everyone else. Boots are a great investment, you know, like sneakers will come and go, wear and tear, like 40, 50 bucks on Vans or Converse. Sneakers, like the hype goes up, the hype goes down. But boots, I think if you get like a simple black boot or a simple tan boot, like you could just diversify your whole outfit. But yeah, man, hope you guys did enjoy my uh, rotation slash collection of boots. But without further ado, man, I gotta do some errands, dog. Let's go. Excuse me, sir, how you doing? Okay, I gotta go, bye. Dude, why are you so late? Hey, bro, why are you so late, bro? Where is this jacket from? It's from the 50s. Let me get it. I could buy you these, bro. Bro, you plugged me? Yeah. Ooh. Bro, oh, the brazen, brazen shirt. Ooh. My man plugged me. <laughs> 85, not 11, moving swell. I've been keeping quiet, moving stuff. Trying to get it. What, what you got on? So I got the, I got the Uniqlo, Uniqlo U collection. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. Pete the tag. Oh, we see it. We see okay, it. Okay, I got, I got a uh, bare knuckle. Shout out to Jacob Keller, uh, collection three. Jacob Keller, the goat. Yep. Actually, the goat. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay, I got uh from Jewel, Jeweler in Squim, Washington. Necklace right here, okay? Check me out. I got uh, Levi's 501s Vintage. Got the Adrian Loafers and Peep the Jewelry. Jewelry. Let me see. Youthful People's Checkered Ring, okay? Uh, Maple Canada Ring. <laughs> my boys get it! Excuse me, young man. Where'd you What happens, you, you're in this place of work without a mask on. Can you? Can you please be sensitive about what's going on around this world right now? What? You, you, get, you gotta protect the people around you. Why are you not wearing a mask, sir? Why is yours not covering your face? <laughs> Take it serious. The Omarian, <laughs> the Omarian thing is going around, okay? Guys, yeah, these are the fakest people here. <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, the red X. I'm trying to cut this for my mom for the Christmas, but I need the homie for the. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why I'm even recording this right now. Probably because it's a dumb idea. Um, and I have no idea what's even gotten into me. Maybe it's because it's raining right now, but I'm currently on my way to meet up with an ex of mine. <sighs> hey. Hey, babe, I missed you. Oh, I missed you guy, so bro. much. <laughs> this is my real ex, y'all. I haven't gotten a haircut in a year. You miss me? No, not at all, dude. <laughs> what are we doing today, Josh? 
Just come in an inch off. A little, a little quick trim. We can't lose the flow. That's why I don't be seeing my ex that much anymore, you know? Because I had to I had to break up with him a year ago when I decided to grow out my hair. But I love the flow, but we gotta keep it healthy. Do a little trim here and there. <laughs> little trim skis. The way that you walk in the room, girl, you're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby, they think it's just casual loving. 